Hey guys, and welcome back to Story of Seasons. I apologize for last episode being kind of all over the place, but I'm just trying to get all these tips in that you guys left for me because I really appreciate it. So, I only have a few left, and we're going to talk about them quickly while we go check out our new rented field. But first, we need to water some stew. Okay, so... The main source of money is the rivers. There's three of them, and you can get... Oh, oh gotta fill up my water, watering can. Um, there are three of them, and you can get six items per day. Now, I don't know if that means six items per field, or six items total. Not 100% sure. They are the only places that you can find gemstones and bricks until fall of year one. And you want to save your bricks so you can build a seed maker and the second house upgrade. And that comes from Umbreon's R Us, which is a cool nickname. I love Pokemon. So thank you so much for that. Okay. And this tip is actually, like, we can see it right now. Oh, hold on. Um, you can check the status of your livestock in the barn's lower left-hand corner. Which is right here, and that comes from Nicole Paradise, so thank you so much, Nicole, for that. Uh, it is good to know. And neither of the cows have hearts yet, but you can see how stressed they are. Most likely that is from the crap, literally, that is in the barn, so we need to take care of that. They are both level-headed, and it shows their birthdays, and that they're healthy, and how many times that they have won a festival. And, yeah. Oh, see, now our fodder is showing up there because we put it in the in the bin inside our house the other day. So, good to know. Hello, 2%. I just wanted to say hi. No, I can't really say hi to my horse. I just jump on the horse, so we gotta brush everybody. Also, while some people aren't, like, super into flowers, apparently there is a flower festival. And if you give people flowers on the day of the flower festival, then you get a little boost in affection. And that comes from Ivy Jasmine, so thank you so much for that tip. And we will definitely be taking advantage of that because flowers are pretty easy to get. And we will make Rieger love us no matter what. Hey, 2%. Give me that 2%. Come back here. Um... Also, a bouquet of flowers actually gives you more affection points or a, m a bigger affection boost than just picking flowers. So apparently at some point you can make a bouquet of flowers. I don't know how to do that, but that tip comes from Daniela Pachito. Thank you so much for that. Pachito, Pachito, Cheeto. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call you Daniela Cheeto from now on because Cheetos are amazing. And then also, you don't want to leave your cow outside all night or it will get stressed and that cut. That comes from Gizzy Forever, so that is good to know. Because um, I thought you could just leave them outside as long as it was like nice weather and stuff, but apparently you don't want to do that. So, the more you know. And finally, Chloe Jackson and Nicole Paradise both recommend Fogu.com, which is apparently a website that gives you lots of tips for this game, so I'll definitely have to check that out on my own time. And get even more of an idea of what I'm doing. So I'm not just completely like, Durr, throughout this whole let's play. Uh, so yeah, those are all the tips. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention is I will be st I will start to skip the quote unquote boring parts. Which is basically just, you know, watering the crops, blah, blah, blah. I'm either going to fast forward through them or just skip them entirely. So if you don't see them in the video, don't freak out. I'm still doing it. It's just not something that I'm going to show all the time because that would get kind of boring. It's kind of like grinding in an RPG, you know, you don't want to see it all the time. So, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. I'll probably still show it if I'm, like, talking or if we're planting a new crop or something like that. I'll probably show it, but otherwise, probably going to be cutting it out so that you guys don't have to get super bored. Leafy crop field, can I take it? I shouldn't harvest other people's crops. What if I want to? Is this a... What is this creature? I don't... Is that a beaver? It kind of looks like a beaver. But it also kind of looks like a cat. I'm not really sure what that is. Who are you? Oh, there's a really stuffy child. Root crop field. 
I still have no idea which one we rented. I think it's this one, because there's nothing here. So I would assume that if somebody else was renting it, there'd be something here. So... I think we're good. Uh, we're not going to be planting our turnip seeds, though. Just because we need them. I mean, unless we get, like, enough. I have to keep five. Uh, people have warned me. For this, for this seed maker, I think. I'll just leave those there for now. See, we need to do that. <laughs> I forgot, again, to check if Silk Country is going to be at the thing. So, need to do that too. Go see if they're there. Because we need to sell stuff. Oh gosh, I don't want to talk to you. I really don't like you. At the field, over this way, you can raise mushrooms, beehives, and tall structures. Okay. I really don't like mushrooms. They actually creep me out. <laughs> Which sounds weird, but they, they do. I can never eat one because it would freak me out too bad. They're just creepy things, you know? You guys are probably not agreeing with me, but they are creepy. Just, just believe me. <laughs> Okay, so this is Marion, and I thought that Marion was a girl, but Marion is actually a guy. This was pointed out to me by someone in the comments. I can't remember who it was. But yeah, I was like, no. Oh, also we have some glitching going on with the maid here. But anyway, I looked it up, and indeed, Marion is a, is a man. So, thumbs up to uh, <laughs> them for being progressive. But still kind of scares me. Not because he looks feminine or anything, it's just like, he just looks creepy. Like, it doesn't matter what gender he is, he just looks creepy as a person in general. Is the general store not open today? Well, that's kind of annoying. It's Sunday, so yeah, they're not open. Irritating! Oh, yay, they're here. Good. <laughs> Hello! Hmm? What is it, Kita? Did you need something? That's kind of as deep as I can make my voice go. Like, I'm sorry, that's not more interesting. Oh man, I thought they were here, but it's just Ida and Klaus. Curses. Oh, we need more money. Because we need to buy those turnip seeds. We literally cannot do anything until Silk Country shows up. We can sell our stuff. And that... Makes me sad on the inside. So I guess we'll just go back home and see whenever they're gonna freaking show up. Wow, Silk Country is not coming back until Wednesday. <laughs> that really sucks because there's not much we can really do until we can sell some stuff because I. Oh, we're in a street pass. Okay. Good morning, Kita. It's Veronica. Who else would bang on my door at three in the morning? I'm sorry to disturb you this early, but I had some news I figured you'd like to hear about as soon as possible. Starting today, we have a new service available through the guild. What? This new service is called Street Pass. If you sign up to activate your Street Pass, anyone who passed by who has a Nintendo 3DS will be able to visit our town. Visitors who have also signed up for Street Pass will be able to tour the town, of course. And if you talk with visitors, you'll be able to see what was happening on your farm when they were visiting. If you happen to be keeping two separate journal entries, you need not worry. The visitors will come to both towns. Huh. If you choose to sign up for Street Pass and, and then Street Pass with another Nintendo 3DS, please be aware of the following. Your character's name, your animal's names, and your farm name will be visible to your Street, street Pass partners. Note, if an animal name includes a number, it will be displayed as star 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 to your street pass partners. If you do not wish to use the street pass function, please do not sign up for street pass. Additionally, if you choose to sign up for street pass, it will not be activated until you've written about it in your journal. Once you begin to street pass, what is visible to your street pass partners will be updated each time you write in your journal. And finally, street pass will continue to function even after you have shut off this game. We can also sign you up for Street Pass at the guild counter, so if you'd like to activate it later, you can do so from there. All you need to do is speak to me at the counter and select Activate Street Pass. Okay. 
so thank you for giving me a book about street pass that is so kind of you peace out good to know although i don't really street pass much with people on this 3ds because i don't really take it with me because it has a capture card in it that's another thing several people have asked me what emulator i use to play this game i do not use an emulator i use my 3ds I have a capture card installed and a software that I use, and then I use OBS, which is open broadcast software, which is a free software that you can use to record your screen. So once I have this up on the screen, I just record it as I'm playing, and that's pretty much how I do it. I just went on eBay and bought a really crappy 3DS, and <laughs> it was really crappy. I actually had to get the the charging port replaced because the person before me had pretty much broken it so yeah it was like really cheap and junky so i got that got the capture card installed which was not cheap by the way and yeah so that's how i record my stuff i try to avoid using emulators if possible to give a more authentic experience plus sometimes you can have issues with emulators like with you know, lag, freezing, etc. And I just like playing this in my 3DS. Like, that's just the preferred way to play. So, there you go. I do not use emulators. The only time I think I would use an emulator is if some of the older computer games I cannot play on my computer because I have Windows 8. I am trying to find a way to be able to play them. I may have to install a virtual box, but I don't know how stable that will be for recording and all that stuff so i'm not sure at this point how to do that so with some of the older computer games like 95 and stuff like that i may have to emulate if i record them just because i literally can't play them even though i still have the disc i can't play them just because my computer's too advanced it's really annoying i wish they would fix the compatibility issues like and i've used their compatibility tool and it still doesn't work for a good portion of my older games which sucks because a lot of them I had as a kid and I would love to play them for you I had so many ridiculous Barbie games that I feel like I need to show you <laughs> so I'm gonna try to find a way to record them for you at some point but yeah that would really be the only time that I think I would use an emulator so there you go I think I'm going to cut this episode here just because Soul Country isn't going to be here for a while. So we can't really do much of anything yet. And I don't think you guys want to watch me like run around and collect crap. So I'm just going to kind of do that uh, off camera. Just collect some stuff and then I will see you in a couple days when Soul Country finally shows their faces. And then we can sell some stuff and buy some new stuff and get ready for summer. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.